sweet friends welcome back to my channel my name is Jeannie and today I left work just a little bit early and just kind of on the way home they were having a vintage market out in the middle of nowhere and so I decided to stop and spent mm, maybe 45 minutes there and had a great time but let me show you what I got. So let me turn the camera around here. I'm actually trying to figure out this one right here. Sorry, I'm in my laundry room, so it's a little weird looking right here. But let me turn you around. So I got this, and it's a um, citrus crate from Weirsdale, which is not very far from me. Um, it says G something spanking I don't know something like that so I'll look it up a little bit better but um anyways it's just an old and I'm trying to figure out how to look so I have my cabinet right here I don't know if you guys can see okay but I have my cabinet right here sorry this is my little daily word thing um and so y'all know I use my laundry room a lot it's like very functional but I also like decor in it so I don't know about this because before I had a um, like a bar stool in here, just a stool, a large, a taller stool with um, a basket for dirty clothes and just some um, eucalyptus behind it. So I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work out or not, but we'll see. Um, and then I also got here's the eucalyptus that was back there. This amazing, beautiful crock. Isn't it pretty? It's stained and it's cracked but barely you know it's uh it's really pretty I, I really like it a lot so um that'll look pretty anywhere i mean that was very very inexpensive and i, I ran into one of my patients and um he said oh hey Jeannie, how you doing you know and he you know we talked a few minutes and um he came back to me within just a few minutes because I was waiting for somebody to look for a t-shirt for me, which they didn't have. And he has a wiener dog. And, you know, I have two. And we talk about that while he's getting treatment. And so he brought me over a pet shampoo. This is homemade soap. His wife was there with their handmade soap company. So he brought me over a pet shampoo. He said he washes her. He washes. They wash their wiener with wiener dog with this and um it works really well it's got a little bit of um sorry my baby's out there barking um a little bit of citronella and a little bit of what's the other one they said um tea tree just a tiny bit so and i know too much tea tree is not good for them but it helps repel um fleas and it's um really good good for itchy skin because um, i know my daisy girl has itchy skin so um this is another thing that he gave me and he said and this one's for you <laughs> so it's champagne kisses handmade soap so the name of the place is pinesville soap company so um it's really i, I love handmade soap so while i was there you know i can't i can't just let people give me stuff so i bought these two soaps they were like 350 a piece so lavender and sage and i bought um are they soap or are they yeah, I think they're soap. I thought they were um, maybe bath bombs, but I think they're soap. And then she gave me a little sticker. So that's really cute. I love the little vintage market sticker. Actually, she didn't give me the sticker. The other lady gave me the sticker. So then um, that wonderful crock. Um, and let me show you the only other thing I got. So this is the only other thing I got. And isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, I just love it. It's huge. Look how big it is. It's I mean, this is one side of my countertop on either side of the um, stove. So it is hand carved. You can tell until it's not completely straight. It's definitely hand done. Um, it's very, very, very large. Here's the back. You can tell it's not like a mass produced thing. So it's really, I found it and I'm like, oh, is that for sale? She said, look at the wormhole right here. I don't know if that's a wormhole or where somebody, I don't know. It looks like a wormhole to me. So um, <clears throat> I said, um, is that for sale perhaps? And she said, oh yeah, it is. And she was kind of scared to tell me the price. And um, I looked around the rest of the market. I'm like, don't go in there and buy everything. Spend your little bit of money you have because we've kind of been on a little budget, kind of like a no spend uh, March. And um, 
So I just was really looking around, but I got this. She took a little bit off and I got it for 35. And to me, this is in an antique shop, this would have been a hundred dollars. So it's, it's a really, really great size. So, um, let me go let my wiener dog in before I strangle her. She's so sweet, but she's so rotten. Let me go let her in. Okay. So I'm not sure I'm going to keep it this way, but right now I put my, um, my glass crock full of, um, brushes, horsehair brushes in there. And I have a little uh, reproduction scale here. It's Paula Deen. Um, I got, I have a, um, one of my brushes and some sock donners here, antique sock donners. And I have a one gallon crock up here with some um, eucalyptus. I'm not sure I'm keeping that because it kind of covers up my, um, my pretty rug beater up there. So, um, so that left this cleared off, which is very nice. I wish I could get a little, get a little closer. Okay, so um, a little further away, so that looks much better without so much clutter on it. So that looks better. I like it. So there, these are the last three things I got at the Vintage Market. Um, they are Holt Howard mini mugs. And if you'll see here, aren't they sweet? Just love the little faces. If you'll see, they're from 1960. They're Holt Howard. Just little bitty things. They're just, just tiny. They just make a really cute tiered tray or display on your tiered tray or just whatever. They're just sweet. So I love them. my beautiful dough bowl um, displayed with another dough bowl on top of my crocs in my um, dining room. To the far right of my hutch, I have my gorgeous um, croc displayed as well. I recently thrifted these two green tiles with the when prayers go up blessings come down and then the other one to the left that is um, a scripture so those are really cute they were like two bucks a piece Okay, 
Okay, so this is how the laundry room ended up. I ended up putting my um, citrus crate up here. And I added um, some of my brown Clorox bottles, my vintage stuff up there. There's um, several sizes of Clorox bottles up there. And I have my Young Living Laundry Caddy up there with some pretty green ball jars up there and one of my horse hair brushes. And then I put um, my scale right here with a mason jar full of the vintage clothespins and then I um, another big Clorox bottle right here on its side. Here's my um, a, a big jar, clear jar full of um, horsehair brushes. You know, sometimes people use those kind of things for laundry as well. And then I have a scale up there with another brush on it. I have two um, antique irons up there, like facing each other. And then I have. Um, a vintage washboard up there so um, this I just kept the same I, I'm still looking for one more um, rug beater here that'll kind of even it out and then this is what I left here I have an old um, aluminum box and a vintage um, picnic basket one of those little laundry tins you know with the cup on it where you can get laundry soap or whatever I just have um I actually that's empty um and an old hanger and two of my old washboards there one's glass and one's wood so um that's how everything ended up here so um this is my sock donners in here I have four of them in there and some old shuttles there and then drop your drawers here well I was supposed to say here but I ran out of room so we're just dropping our drawers today. And then up here I have another one of the um, little vintage inspired washboards. Four of my favorite little um, ball jars with the bicentennial thing and my laundry sign and my little ca um, little tiny cabinet up here. So here I still have my um, you know dog treats and um, like my baking soda and my... Uh, um, washing you know the tabs there dish uh, laundry tabs there so my dryer balls so it's still extremely functional I actually put a crock full of um I collect these old beaters you know hand beaters hand mixers there so I got my laundry room the way I like it except for I'm just looking for one more of these so everything looks pretty good I still got my little eat drink and be right Irish here so Tomorrow is St. Patty's Day, so those will come down and all the Easter will go up. So that's pretty much it. So that's what I did with my last thing that came from the um, vintage market. I just wanted to show you how it turned out.